is this interstellar object, which is now in uh, orbit, not around, I mean, leaving the sun's orbit very rather quickly. Oumuamua. 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 It's a Hawaiian term. Right. And, and it means scout. That's right. So tell us what it means. This object was discovered on uh, October uh, 19th, uh, 2017, by a telescope that was looking for uh, objects that might cross the orbit of the Earth. These are called killer asteroids of the type that uh, kill the dinosaurs, for example. Uh, we are worried about them because we have a lot of infrastructure on Earth and we would like to prevent such an asteroid or comet from hitting us. And in the process of monitoring the sky, this very strange object was discovered and it seems to be unbound to the sun. In other words, it moved too fast to remain bound to the sun, to come back again and again, like all the other objects that we have seen before, asteroids or comets. And at first people said, well, it must be a rock, uh, just like an asteroid. But a rock unlike any rock we've ever seen before. For one thing, as it turned around every eight hours, uh, its brightness changed by a factor of 10. And that means that since it reflects sunlight, we are basically seeing uh, the reflected sunlight changing in time because the area of the object projected on the sky is changing. And a factor of 10 means that it is 10 times longer than it is wide, very extreme shape. A factor of a few more extreme than any object we have seen before. It kind of looks a bit like a cigar, effectively. Not necessarily, it could be a pancake. And in fact, a pancake is preferred based on the tumbling motion that it exhibited. And uh, then it was found that this object actually deviated from an orbit that is shaped just by the sun's force of gravity. And usually such a thing can happen if there is outgassing, if ice on the surface of a comet evaporates and then gives it a push. The tail. Uh, that's what we see as a tail, but it acts as a rocket. Uh, basically, the evaporation of gases from the object pushes the object in the opposite direction, just like a jet and engine on, a, on an airplane. And uh, the problem is, the only problem, is that we haven't seen a cometary tail. There was no dust behind this object, and there was no gas detected. Uh, Carbon-based molecules were searched for uh, with the Spitzer Space Telescope and were not found. And moreover, this object appeared to be very shiny, and there wasn't any heat uh, observed from it. So for all these reasons, this object looked very weird. Mm -hmm. One thing that I really wanted to understand is how does it get this push uh, without a cometary tail? And the explanation that came to mind is that the sunlight is pushing it. Sunlight or light in general can push on an object just like uh, wind pushes on a sail. Uh, basically by reflecting off it, it gives it a little kick. And uh, in fact, there is this concept of a light sail, uh, which we as a civilization are currently uh, developing for space exploration. And so the idea was perhaps this object has a light sail. Uh, and if so, if it's very thin, uh, so that uh, the sunlight would be effective in pushing it, then it may be artificially made. So you're saying that there's nothing that uh, occurs in nature that would allow for a sun-driven push in velocity of an object? It seemed very unlikely to me because the object needs to be less than a millimeter thick, so very thin and the size of order tens of meters. And so to me, it sounded like a sail that is artificially made. It's a question that science does not have yet an answer for. There's no consensus. Right. And you're providing something that seems plausible given the realm of what we know. Right, and science is based on evidence. And uh, we should put all possibilities on the table and examine the evidence. Uh, you know, when the church argued that they don't want to look through a telescope and they put Galileo in house arrest, that didn't change the fact that the Earth moves around the Sun. You know, people not willing to entertain some possibilities does not make these possibilities go away. Reality is whatever it is. This object is whatever it is, unrelated to what is being said about it in twi on Twitter. But given all the weirdness of this object, it seemed to me that this possibility has to be entertained since this is the very first object we have seen from outside the solar system. And we ourselves, 
sent out the uh, Voyager 1, Voyager 2. And so it's possible that there is space debris out there. It may be defunct. Uh, maybe the civilization that sent it is dead by now. But uh, nevertheless, it's just like doing space archaeology. We should examine anything that enters the solar system because it saves us the time to go elsewhere and, and search. Is there another plausible theory that is out there right now about how this object exists? Well, some people say, uh, well, maybe there is a cometary uh, outgassing, but it's in the form of gases that we have not been able to detect. In other words, it, it, for example, it's pure water without any carbon-based molecules, and the water molecules are difficult to detect. Now, it would mean that it's pure water. We haven't seen that before. Uh, and, you know, everything is possible, but why? Once again, I rest my case. This object is very unusual, okay? And, and given how unusual it is, uh, we should search for more of the same.